If you want to make a tune shader, one of the easiest ways to do that is to floor the height times the steps and then divide by the step size. We can see that here we are getting these height values 0 to 1 with 0 being the bottom and 1 being all the way at the top. It doesn't need to be the height, it's whatever parameter you want to snap you'll pass in. But this doesn't always work. I'm going to have to show three different steps and I'm showing them all right now. You can see on the scale of 0 to 1, they all look the same. They all look the same when you have a value that ranges from 0 to 1, but when you have a value that has a shorter range, they can get different results. Using the default method, if you have a scale of 0 to like let's say 0 0.3, you get this tune effect that doesn't look very good. We also don't have our 10 bands that we were putting in. In order to fix this, one thing we can do is normalize the scale so that it goes from 0 to 1 no matter what. Now we have our 10 bands, except our maximum, which is only here at 0.3, looks like our absolute maximum of 1. This is achieved by passing in the value we want to snap, passing in the minimum value for that, passing in the maximum value for that. This comes down to knowing the parameters of the value you're passing in. For me, I know that the minimum is going to be 0 for height, and the maximum will be the height scale. Again, I want 10 steps, so that gets passed in. In this function, we first clamp the value so that it doesn't go out of the range's minimum or maximum. This is required so that we don't end up with negative values. Then we normalize the value to get in a range of 0 to 1. After that, we do the snapping just as before. We return that. Again, this effect is good in that it gives us the 10 bands we are looking for, but it also makes the relative maximum here 1 instead of a 0 0.3. Sometimes this is the effect you want, go for the normalized approach, but if you want to have something be in lower values, like representing what the height scale is, there's another method I've made called Tunify Rescaled. So this does the same process as the normalized, except it adds rescaling back to the min-max parameters. If we go here, you see we can skip this step of clamping the value. This is because we're going to rescale it, so even if it goes negative, it doesn't matter because we're going back to the range we started with. But we still need to normalize it in order to snap it first. Once we snap it, same step as we've been doing, we then rescale it. We do this by multiplying by the max minus the min plus the minimum. With this effect, you still get the 10 bands, but instead of going from 0 to 1, you go to 0 to 0.3. That'll be the same for any sort of height skill that you pass in, any sort of maximum that you pass in. These three methods are not necessarily one better than the other, but they're three different options that you can use. If you have any questions about how to get this into a shader graph rather than using code, I can work on that with Blender or Godot. And then if you have questions about how to work this in lighting rather than using the color of the mesh, uh, that's a pretty straightforward process as well I could touch on, although I'm going to be diving into that for Godot specifically because I'll have to potentially remodel the whole engine because Godot doesn't allow custom lighting and shadows in its current implementation, at least as far as I know. If you know otherwise, let me know because finding resources on it has been difficult.